Hello and welcome to Tommy Talks TV. I have one singular goal with this show and that is to help you make smarter decisions so that you can have better relationships. I start as usual by saying a very big thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube. I really, really appreciate you because you're helping us spread the message further faster. So thank you very much indeed. Now today I'm going to be taking another one of your questions and it goes like this. How can I rebuild trust after my, after my wife has been unfaithful to me? I find that I don't trust anything she says or does anymore, especially as she hasn't been able to explain why she was unfaithful to me. Now, first of all, I'd really like to say that I appreciate the fact that you have made up your mind that you still want to build your home or build your marriage irrespective of the fact that you have been uh, you know, a victim of, of infidelity. And that is highly commendable um, because you know, to, to find yourself in that situation is a very, very painful thing to be. And a lot of times people you know, walk out of such situations where you've made up your mind that you want to rebuild your home and your marriage. That's commendable indeed. So let me simply say that it's it's not going to happen automatically so to rebuild trust in a relationship when your trust has been broken it's always a process it will have to be a process of gradually restoring that trust because the truth is trust is built over time and once it's broken it takes time to rebuild that trust so how, how do you rebuild that trust well first of all your wife and, and her state of mind is very key to actually being able to rebuild that sense of trust so the question is where is she positioned in her heart and in her mind towards you is she repent and does she recognize that you know this is something that should not have happened and is she prepared to do everything that she can to make sure that this does not happen again that's the first question and if she is then how is she demonstrating that because she needs to be able to demonstrate absolute transparency and accountability to you in order to be able to rebuild that trust so what that simply means is this she should be open and honest about you know all her dealings about you know her movements where she goes who she sees um, and, and even if she's got a phone you should have access to it you should have access to her computer and, and things like that because you see if someone is really determined not to go back into infidelity then they will do everything that they can to make sure that they re remove every form of secrecy around them that might tempt them to fall back into that kind of situation and I would also say that you need to have a conversation uh, with your wife and she needs to be open about what actually happened um, in order for the healing to really occur because you're saying that she hasn't really explained uh, what happened um, so so, you know, there needs to be a, a sufficient explanation of why exactly that happened and, and, you know, where the vulnerabilities lie in order that you as a couple can do everything that you can to protect your marriage from those vulnerabilities. Then I'll also say that to you as an individual, it, it's tempting in that kind of situation to develop hypervigilant behavior, which simply means that you want to watch everything that she does because you're constantly afraid uh, that she's going, to, she, she's going to betray you again. So you want to, you know, look into everything that she does. You want to spy on her and things like that. that that's absolutely unnecessary because if you put yourself in that kind of situation it's going to be very very difficult for you to rebuild trust and constantly you'll be in that sense that situation of of, of being anxious about your your marriage and you won't be able to build, rebuild trust the way that you should so at some stage you've got to just lay your marriage before god and just ask god you know to help you to rebuild your home and rebuild your marriage and then work together with your wife to rebuild that sense of trust but a lot depends on her and her, her, her willingness to be transparent and to be open with you because she's got to earn that trust um, now that the trust has been broken. But again, I'll say uh, that it's fantastic that you've made up your mind that you want to build your home and your marriage again. And I trust God that he will give you the, uh, you know, the grace to do what needs to be done to rebuild that trust. Well, I hope this has helped you. If this has helped you, then please leave me a message on Facebook, on Instagram, or Twitter, or wherever it is you're watching. And if you've got a question you would like me to answer, then head on over to tomitalks.com forward slash ask and I'll answer your question next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.